thousand subscribers on YouTube. Thank you very much. I've got my special uh, I've got, I've got a YouTube badge here, play symbol. Uh, it's fantastic. What we're going to do is we'll get the Hackaday Prize going on just now. I've got an entry to it, which is the kite turbine, the portable power system. We're going to charge up an electric vehicle. Oh, if I get one. Um, I'll take you through the what the bits are, how you make it from the top down. At the very top, we just get straight into it. Eh? This is the this is the old kite. I made this in Peter Lynn's actual workshop in New Zealand. What a guy! Um, you tie that kite on. Um, a good standard figure of eight on the bite. That's what I do every time. I've, that's a real puller. That kite, incredible pull on it. I've tended to move to kite aerial photography kites. Uh, these single line uh, foil kites. They're really stable. You just have to make sure you've got enough kite for the pool that you've got. Um, 10 kilos tension on that line is what you want at least. That kite comes down and it goes to one of these. This is the top spreader, I call it. I really hope I edited that bit out. So the purpose of this is to spread that top lift line and let the lift line spin. Okay, so the, the well, the lift line doesn't spin actually. It's this bit that spins. The, the whole turbine connects onto this, spreads out the lines. You'll see that these tabs are underneath the bar so that they're just, you know, that it doesn't squash this, uh, the pole, the rim, the carbon rod that's inside the sleeve. This is a, a sleeved carbon rod, and this is the this is the trick to everything really. You put these rods inside, you join them together, and you can compress them with this velcro. You pull that tight, and it keeps it in a circle. There's, if I pull it apart, it's just a rod into a plug. There, and that's how that's how they all go together. And oh, it's a bit fiddly. Bit of a fanko. That bit spreads out the lines, and the lines come down onto the top of the, the turbine. They connect onto this part here. This is one of the standard blades that is basically what drives the turbine around. And it goes whinging around. So you'll see there's not the usual. Uh, Rim bit. This, this normally makes up a circle or a hexagon, uh, depending on how I've configured it. And the blade has these uh, bridles coming down, which are slightly banked in. I've got a wee tangle on that just now. Through, through this cuff, we make another one of those rings. To do that, again, it's just some carbon fibre rods, two by 170 for each blade, well, six of these rods around. A rim at the moment. I think they're one meter seventy. And you see, I've sort of enhanced the cuffs on these ones. There's the normal diameter. I think that's seven mil, and we're going up to about a centimeter. And I've got a rod through there, so the tube inserts in and plugs in like that. Feeds into the sleeve, and we can press the whole thing down from there. They get a bit big on our ruby. Let's see now, see if I can straighten that out. Oh, I've got a twist on that, I have to invert it. But um, yeah, that's the bridling. The bridling sits so that on the, the plane of the, the rotor, the tip is slightly further down towards the ground. That helps the kite pull outwards and helps um, transmit torque downwards by doing that. There's going to be loads of description in the Hackaday um, yeah, tutorial, instruction on how that is, how that works. I check the forum too. So that rotor, that ring that those blades make, that connects down to a transmission set. Now the transmission set starts out a fairly big diameter. There's three small rods there. I think they are four mil, those ones. At, I think again, that's 170. Then it goes down to two lengths, so that's one hoop there, one hoop there. 
That then goes down to this hexagonal transmission. It clips on onto these lines, and yeah, that's a bit of a fiddle, isn't it? You'll see that in a lot of the you'll see it in the videos and in the pictures. All of that connects on to the power takeoff wheel. And there's a big video all about the ground stations and how the power takeoff wheel and all the other bits work. So these tabs are all tied away at the moment. Must have been playing with it. Yeah, they all clip on here and drive that wheel round and round. When that's turning round, of course, it turns this generator and that puts power into well, you've normally got a battery connected or two batteries connected onto the control box. Various knobs to twiddle there to tell it the maximum current, the uh, tip speed ratio, the amount of gen to do with that, and the tension torque ratio. Um, an emergency overdrive button or a brake button uh, to use at the start, not when you're in the middle of working. Communications for your Arduino, for your controller. There's a, a VESC in there, Federal Electronic Speed Controller. That runs the generator. All of this sits on a hub axle there. It's just a, a frame. Got a tension sensor, inline tension sensor to feel how much axial pull there is. So we can regulate how much torque we put in related to that pull. Uh, the whole thing would turn around if it wasn't tied on just now. Oh, anemometer, tell us what the wind is so we can get the tip speed ratio right. Walk up with that. And the most important bit, an anchor. Great big anchor. Uh, this whole thing screws onto the ground because you don't want it to fly away. So once you're done with all your generating, you don't plug your battery from that. Plug it into your great big inverter. Uh, yeah, and then you would get a car charger, rather like one of these where you can select uh, a low current and yeah, plug it into your car. Jobs are good.